Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Good morning and assalamu alaikum to you all. Dear students, I welcome you all in global perspective with Adilbert. Let's begin our lesson with thought of the day. Jack Kerouac said once, to practice kindness all day to everybody and you will realize you're already in heaven. Kindness makes our lives, others easier. We're all in these times, we're all in pressure and some sort of stress, some sort of, uh, you know, we are, uh, we are housebound, we're not leaving our houses, we are not going out, we are just uh, in uh, self-quarantine, um, so distressing times actually. But being kind to our loved ones, being kind to ourselves, be, being kind to the people around us will actually make life much beautiful. It will make life more easier um, to operate in day-to-day -day life uh, endeavors. Anyways, <clears throat> thank you very much for joining and let's move to a lesson. Um, which is continuation of the previous lesson which was on assessment objective number one uh, skill number one which is research today we are going to learn more little bit more about research this lecture is going to be shorter than the previous one but we're going to try to cover um, the other dimensions of the topic of research uh, well um, in this lesson what we are um, or short recap of the um, uh, previous lesson and then we'll go with the types of research. Um, we'll talk about what is primary research, what is secondary research, and then you will have an assignment of conducting a primary research. Pretty much that, uh, that is all in today's lesson. Uh, so let's talk about previous lesson, what we learned in previous lesson. We learned um, there are two main, uh, mainly there are two types of um, research methodologies and one is called uh, qualitative, the other one is called quantitative and then we learned research, the word research means is keep looking for something again and again from different sources. Now in global perspectives in uh, all three components from Britain to team projects, from team projects to uh, individual report, we all, uh, we actually uh, in all these three modules, we need the basic skill of research. This is the skill which is most useful we need it as other some some other core skills of global perspectives um, so in the written paper we we need to do research on the given eight topics of the written paper and then we have eight topics of team project and we have eight topics of individual report so all these things if we need to learn individually we need to have some prior knowledge of it that is only possible when we conduct the research of those topics so that was pretty much the previous lesson in this lesson what we are going to talk about is uh, what are the major types of research now we are going to focus on basically two types of research here in global perspectives because uh, we need uh, to work on these two as for your um, you know written paper is concerned there is one question of eight marks which is asked because of these two actually you have to answer in that uh, question um, these two basic uh, types of the research as well so let's talk about the first type of the research and that is uh, basically we got primary research methods or um, types or the secondary research basically what these are these are the sources of information so when we research we actually research for some sort of information some sort of data right so that data could be of primary uh, type of data or that can be secondary type of data like so primary sources of information secondary sources of information that is also same thing as primary research secondary research having said that moving on what is primary research self-conducted often necessary to answer specific research question as you do in your individual report you actually form a question statement and then you answer your very own question statement in the whole report that's what you do 
and then can require a budget and turnaround time. It has a limited time that you must produce some sort of data, some sort of information in that given time period. Again, on the second part, we go secondary research that is conducted by others. Mostly somebody has done it for you. Somebody has done it last year, six months ago, two months ago, a month ago, whenever it was before you done, it was completed. And then you took that research, you used it in your project um, or you, you took help from that particular research. And then you conducted your own work and you produced a new piece of work using the previous research which was done by other that is called for you that becomes secondary source of information or secondary research necessity to understand what research has already been conducted here you need to understand um, if you're working on a topic um, biodiversity ecosystem loss in your uh, in your individual report so if you're working on that topic you must need to understand one thing that if you are going to read some articles about biodiversity and then ecosystem loss and then global warming, climate change, uh, greenhouse effect and all those things, actually you are going to read someone else's work. Now you might end up choosing one or two uh, articles or three articles written by someone else, but they fall right under your question statement. They are very useful for you to write your report because they, they actually answer your question statement which you have set for your own individual report. So that research, um, you are looking at someone else's research and then you are choosing that because that particular research has value to you because it is useful for you. So whatever the research has been done already, then you find and then you see it is necessary to understand this skill is very important to understand that if this is useful for you or not. Okay, otherwise you might end up gathering too much information which is useless for you, useless at all, because you won't be able to utilize it. You have only 2000 words to write in your individual report. So you have gathered around 20 articles and now you can't use them in any way in your one research report which is of 20, uh, 2000 words max minimum 1500 so it's not that long report so you can't use 20 topics in it right moving on the last point of the secondary research is typically cheap and quick well look of course if somebody has done it already for you if somebody has done um, a documentary um, a research article a report scholarly work whatever is done before you you are not going to start it again if you are going to initiate it again from the zero from the beginning of course you need to spend resources you need to spend money in it you need to put money in it you need people to work for you or for yourself you need to travel from one place to another place so all these things will need cost here it is done it is done and served in a platter for you so you have to do nothing about it you're not you know investing so much money on it sometimes a person who is a scholar who has uh, done some sort of research, he would he would ask you to pay him something for using his work. So that is kind of a, an arrangement. Even if you are paying for that, this would be cheaper than conducting the whole thing by your own. But this is not happening in your level at your stage. It is not happening. I'm just giving you the idea how this works. Uh, looking at then uh, another. Um, picture we have here in the slides and that is again what is the difference between primary and secondary so we are going primary versus secondary data right so primary data let's look at the primary data original research conducted for a specific marketing situation okay here in global perspectives let's not talk about marketing here for now let's focus original research which was conducted for specific purpose so you have um, you have been working on water conservation topic, water, food and, and agriculture of the team projects. And your aim was to raise awareness about water shortages, scarcity of water. Right. Um, so um, th this thing you're going to, uh, um, you know, uh, spread awareness about it. And now you need to understand what people think about this issue. 
are they aware of it already do they have the you know basic understanding that we don't we, we have lack of water or we are at risk or we are the we are one of those countries who are in top 10 countries in the risk uh, you know list and uh, we, we are going to suffer badly because of the uh, shortage of water so in order to know what people know already you know in order to understand what people already know about this issue you might want to conduct some sort of survey you want to go around you want to ask people a multiple choice question so yes or no questions you want to ask around you want to know what people think or what people know about this issue already now for that this is a specific situation you are working in a specific situation you are going towards people in a specific time frame so in order to get information against one very specific question so that's what you're doing right now that becomes your primary data now examples include focus groups consumer panels surveys surveys or questionnaires right so these are all the things you know um, that you can do to gather information for your team projects um, and uh, basically this skill you're going to use mostly in team projects where 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 as uh, questionnaires and surveys are concerned you don't do such things in individual report because you have internet and you have to read scholarly work and articles about it so you have a lot of data and information on the internet about it already so this is primary data on the second hand um, let's look at the secondary data um, that is published data that have been collected for some other purposes uh, so a published information which was basically not collected for you or keeping your project's aim in mind rather it was done for some other purpose but when you're working on a certain project you have a certain topic which correlates with the same researched material or the data which was collected before you but not keeping your project in mind but that data has something useful to your project so that becomes secondary now examples include sales reports merchandise complaints newspapers now sales reports and merchandise they might not actually help you in any way at this stage in all levels of global uh, in a global perspectives but uh, let's look at the other things newspapers magazines government websites associations books internet companies that specialize in market research all these informations are secondary sources of information or all these sources are secondary data so it is just for your understanding and for your knowledge that there are so many other things which can be more uh, in um, secondary data or secondary sources of information same goes for primary sources of information there are more things which could be added in this list but we're not talking about that because we need to keep our scope limited and uh, to the point as long as it is helping us uh, per perspectives okay now i hope um, you're very clear so quickly let me reiterate everything uh primary now what is primary data primary research you have conducted an interview you have uh, conducted a survey or questionnaire face to face probably okay then you have spoken to someone on uh, telephone or you had a skype video call or, or you had a internet uh, or social media chat with someone directly you and him directly there was no uh, person intermediating or no techni technical you know mean intermediating apart from these technical applications right that is all primary data that is all primary source of information for instance if you want to ask something um, about about uh, microsoft and you for uh, given the possibility uh, you've re you've received some sort of call from G bill gates and you're asking him questions about microsoft and about those questions which were supposed to use that information in your uh, project and if he is going to give you some sort of information and then you're using that information that information actually becomes primary source of information who is primary source 
Bill Gates himself and how it became primary source because you have spoken to him directly by a phone, via phone, via text message doesn't matter but you have spoken to him yourself that is primary source. Now if you're reading his interview or you're watching his interview given to Fox News, BBC News or um, his uh, published interview in Forbes um, magazine or in any other magazine and you, you're looking at that and uh, then uh, you whatever information you were seeking out you have received that information from that published material the information is gathered but it's not primary information rather we'll call it secondary data or secondary source of information because you have gathered your information using secondary source which is published material which was not published for you per se it was published for generalized population generalized people so but the information is useful to your project so you have taken that information it is good so that becomes secondary source of information i would also like to suggest that in my opinion people might differ but in my opinion um, a survey when we are conducting um, a survey on internet like uh, SurveyMonkey or some sort of websites which we can use uh, to conduct surveys. Um, if we're doing surveys on those websites, those surveys or th that information uh, practically becomes secondary source of information because uh, the person who is filling out your survey, you don't know him, you haven't met him, you haven't spoken to him directly. It was a survey put in the public domain and people who have uh, who had time or who wanted to fill it out they have filled it out and they have sent you back and you don't know that person particularly and you don't know where he lives and no particulars are uh, in your knowledge uh, so that becomes secondary source of information but if you've designed a survey and you are giving that survey face to face uh, to someone to fill it out right in front of you or to fill it out for you that you know the person for in, for example uh, you have uh, designed a survey and you are, you you want to give this draft of survey to your classmates so one by one uh, you you give them the survey and tell them okay whatever you think just fill it out and give it back to me tomorrow or by the end of the day so they do that now this piece of information becomes primary source of data yeah primary source of information right because those students that they are your classmates you know them secondly you have given that uh, survey or questionnaire by hand right it can be online if it's online that becomes secondary source of information if it is face to face that becomes primary source of information now if not online or offline is the uh, is a problem here you know someone okay your dad's friend your friend your cousin or your um, you know other friends or relatives and you send them a form uh, via email and give them to fill it out uh, and, um, fill this information because it's going to help me in my project and you're going to sending them um, uh, going to send them this this form and they fill it and they send you back this becomes again primary because you know the person who is filling and you are sending them personally right when you put it on uh, internet you don't know who will opt to fill in your form of or your questionnaire you don't know who is filling it so that is a different matter here this one directly face to face is different okay i hope it's clear now moving on to our uh, activity which is conducting primary research let me explain it for you as you can see it on the screen as well but let me explain it for you that this activity will be of 120 minutes 60 plus 60 um, you will need pen and notebook internet computer google hangout meet uh, or whatever you need it's um, actually up to you now what is the activity like you are going to design a questionnaire to carry out primary research into what people in the school think about the food that the canteen sells or school dinners and how healthy they are this is your aim 
okay you can ask 10 people and can include a mixture of learners from different grades and teachers if you want to you may work in pairs if possible and have 30 minutes to design your questionnaire of 10 questions now you have to be your own master you have to give yourself 30 minutes in those 30 minutes because we are you know kind of in a distance uh, learning arrangement right now so i can't observe you but when you are be honest to yourself when you are at your home you give yourself 30 minutes and then you make sure that in these 30 minutes you produce a questionnaire okay you can have a mixture of questions some that ask for narrative questions okay narrative data and some of the numerical qualitative quantitative we talked about last time uh, and remember these question words what where which when who how and why okay w is an h remember that now pairs swap with okay once you're done with it now these people like pair one gives this uh, their um, questionnaire to pair two so they have uh, they are swapping their questionnaires okay and now pair one is going to comment on pair two's questionnaire that which was good thing about it what could you do more what could you add more and then pair two is going to do the same for the pair one and this is how it is going to work now um, in this online sessions you can um, feel free to send your uh, colleagues uh, um, by email or whatsapp groups you know we have whatsapp groups you can share that to nominate the person who wants to who do you want to check it's easy and you can do it okay and then um, all these other you know instructions are given um, then you design a poster showing your findings about the food and the school the food at school sells and um, you can put it on for the gallery work or for example you can uh, um upload that poster to our class groups see uh, for now we don't have the gallery um, you know uh, walk option right now because we're not in the schools but right now we have one option that is doable and workable that is uploaded on your class groups and then they will know uh, what kind of poster you have produced and is it uh, uh, helping you to achieve the aim or not so that could be now at the end of the day once you're done with this uh, whole activity, um, ask yourself these questions. And those are, what went well? How do you know this? What did you learn from conducting this research? What were the different cultural perspectives about this issue? What didn't go so well? And what do you think this was? Okay. What might you do differently next time okay now once you have answered all these questions know that this is your evaluation assessment objective number one research analysis and evaluation after this lecture we are done with the research part from the next one we're going to discuss analysis inshallah and uh, by the way in this uh, activity there is a variation if you would like to change it in some way you may do do so you may do primary research about different aspects of school life uh, wearing school uniform homework uh, school uh, field trips um, you can choose any part which you want and you can set your aim according to that okay i hope um, it's clear and i hope this uh, lecture was helpful um, thank you very much for your time um, please, uh, if you have some questions, um, please do not forget to leave the comments below this video and I'll get back to you or you can use our WhatsApp channels uh, so that we can uh, you know, get back to you in time. Um, thank you very much. Stay blessed, stay home, stay safe. Allah Hafiz.